Hi, my name is Mike, and I'm going to show you how to run PHP Unit unit tests from Eclipse without needing any plugins. In the source folder, I have a simple class called DateAdder, which is used to add days and hours to a given date. And then, in the tests folder, I have a unit test for this class called DateAdderTest. It's important that you use includes which are relative to the current file, as we will be running PHP unit from the project root. As you can see, I use the dir magic constant to get the path to the directory that this file is stored in, and then I append the relative path to the file I want to include. If you are using PHP version 5.2 or earlier, instead, you must use the dir name function with the file magic constant, since the dir magic constant is only available in PHP version 5.3. First, let me show you how to run this test from the command line. My current working directory is my home folder, so let me first navigate to my PHP project. Now, I run PHP unit by typing PHP unit followed by the name of the folder that my unit tests are stored in. This will run all unit tests that are stored in this folder. In this case, I only have one. As you can see, my test passed. Now, I will show you how to run PHP unit from Eclipse. First, click the drop-down arrow next to the External Tools toolbar button, and then click External Tools Configurations. Next, select Program, and then click the New button. I'm going to name my configuration PHP Unit Tests. Next, I select the location of the PHP unit executable. On Mac, this is in user local bin. On Windows, it's a bat file, and it's located under the PHP installation directory, then under the pair folder, and then under the PHP unit folder. Next, I need to specify my working directory. This will be my PHP projects folder. I start by specifying the location of my workspace by using the workspace location variable. Using this variable, ensures that my configuration will work no matter where my workspace is stored on my computer. Then, I type a slash, and then the name of my PHP project. As you can see, Eclipse will tell you if the path you specified does not exist. Next, I need to specify the folder that my unit tests are stored in. And that's it. To run it again, simply click the External Tools toolbar button and select the configuration you just created. For more software development tips, Check out my blog at www.mangst.com. Thanks for listening, and let me know if you have any PHP development tips in the comments below.